It's happened once again. Well, we heard a shot. We thought it was a, like a, an experiment at first, but then we heard screaming. This time, a school shooting hitting Seattle Pacific University in Washington State. We had a, uh, a young male enter Otto Miller Hall on the Seattle Pacific University campus, uh, was armed with a shotgun. It was just around 3.20 in the afternoon when the first calls came in. We saw blood on the carpet, um, bullet shells, blood splatters on the wall. Police responding to reports that a man, later identified as Aaron Yabara, was firing a shotgun at students. Police say he was also carrying a knife. One of the professors inside the campus's science building, the site of the shooting, witnessing it all. I uh, heard, a, heard a shot bang out, looked outside, and I saw a man lying face down on the ground with the man, another man holding a, a shotgun uh, over him. The shooter injuring four and killing one before police detained him. One of the victims, a 19-year-old male, died shortly after arriving at the hospital. The one female shot now recovering from a five-hour surgery in intensive care. Ian Bishop was at the scene. We were just idling, trying to reassure her that everything's going to be okay. You know, she's going to live, most of all. Police say the shooter's rampage ended thanks to the bravery of a few students. The first who stepped in, senior engineering student John Meese, a volunteer at the security desk. A student monitor was able to um, stop the individual at that point. Uh, pepper sprayed uh, that person, uh, then got them to the ground. Students left reeling just a week before their final exams. So today should have been a day of uh, celebration at the end of the school year here at Seattle Pacific University. Instead, it's a day of tragedy and of 